Hello everyone, welcome back to Nasdaq channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to build a Cisco IPsec VPN from your Windows to a Cisco, Cisco VPN gateway using a third-party VPN client. We know Cisco has any connect VPN client, but if you don't have that, you can use third-party just like a true VPN client I'm talking about today. So here is a video to show you how to use this third-party through VPN client to build your Cisco IPsec VPN from your Windows machine. First, let's start to download this third-party through VPN client. You can go to the through soft website, download this VPN client for Windows. The latest version is was released on July 1st, 2013. It's still working fine. Very light VPN client, only three megabytes. You can install it on this Windows 7 machine and present to you the steps and the load configurations how you can set it up to connect into a remote Cisco VPN gateway. Let's install it. You can use standard edition. Next, next. It will install network component, usually network drivers. You may lose the connection if you're using a remote desktop just like me for a while, then it will connect back by itself. Okay, finish it. The connection was restored. So on your desktop, you will see a VPN access manager shortcut has been created. Double click it. Then this is through very simple through VPN client interface, green interface. There's an add button, you can add it. There's a couple of parameters you will need it. So you will need, definitely you will need a remote IP address. You can keep on the general tab you can keep other settings as default on the client tab nothing need to be changed on the lane the solution tab you can keep the default settings for the authentication part now you need to enter something here so first thing sometimes you may get the uh, group name from your VPN administrator so that the group name you will come to this FQDN string so in my case is ATT VPN is my group name there's something you need to change on the authentication tab other than group name here you also need to change it to the pressure key plus X authentication, which gonna ask you for pressure key if you have that.
For most of part, you can keep default. You need to put the host name or IP address on a general tab. You need to change the authentication parameters from change the authentication method to mutual pressure key plus X authentication. If you have group name, which is FQDN string, you can input here. Also, you need to put a pressure key under the credentials tab. Save. Double click the connection you built. Now it's the VPN account your VPN administrator provides to you. In my case, I'm putting my VPN account name and then password. Then click connect. If everything goes well, you should be able to connect it in a minute.